what's going on everybody it's your boy money maintain and today we're going to be talking about the swinging mace it swings back and forth dealing physical damage to anything that walks in its path kill 75 enemies to complete the unique upgrades it swings faster or deals fire damage level upgrades to increase damage now the swinging mace is one of those staples in the orcs franchise uh but i it feels a little lackluster in three compared to one and two one and two it feels like it's really doing a lot um but in three it's actually doing a lot you know it just doesn't feel that way for some reason maybe it's like the the grimy like you're closer to it and it looks bigger and like it just sounds more deadly or something um but for whatever reason it just doesn't seem like it's doing as much in orcs must die three maybe it is maybe it isn't i don't know i don't use it a ton but i do use it from time to time um <clears throat> that being said guys let's jump into the game files all right so the first thing to note is that it does have a launch strength which means enemies are going to fly from it um I'd had, i haven't measured it because it depends on where they are in relation to the the pendulum and uh you know in in the direction that it's swinging it they're going to fly a certain distance based upon where they are from the center of this of the swinging mace and as it's swinging if they're farther out you know then they'll fly different distances and so it i didn't calculate any of that i mean it's not that far um but it could send things over a barricade you know or it could send them farther through your kill box and, and you may not want them to go that way you may want them to go the other way but they end up doing it okay the primary damage is 50. decent decent trap protos okay i mean that's really all there is to say about the in the attributes uh the trap protos we have no trigger delay because it's a constant moving trap swing back and forth and back and forth so the trigger duration is two seconds now the cooldown is three seconds so it'll swing and go on cooldown for you know uh the three seconds and swing and go down and cool down for three seconds um the coin value is 1200 uh it used to be 1500 they reduced it down to 1200 to try and get people to use it more yeah i think it just needs to um i don't want to say knock down the very heavy enemies but you know ceiling space you have limited amounts of it's the least it's the least amount of space that you have is in the ceiling. You've got flip traps that flip very heavy enemies. You've got spike walls that spike wall very heavy enemies. Um, you need something on the ceiling to do it, and Haymaker ain't going to do it. And I think if there's anything to do it, it would be the swinging mace. And they should maybe pop it up to 1800, but allow it to affect very heavy enemies. Or make that one of the unique upgrades instead of swings faster, um, and then keep it at like you know 15 or 12. Uh, but I digress, I digress. That's just my thoughts on it. You know, let me know if you what you would change about it, because I have a feeling like it's the consensus is not that great compared to everything else. However, let me know what you would change about it and how you'd make it better in the comments below. All right, you do have it unlocked at uh, after you complete the basement. So before Coliseum, unfortunately, I don't think it's that good for Coliseum. Um, so it might be a little bit of a bait and switch to try and use it. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's just not that great for that. Okay, let's go into the upgrades. So the first upgrade is to increase primary damage by five, takes you up to 55. Primary damage again by five, and primary damage again by five. Now maybe that's all that needs to change, right? Because we just saw the spike wall doing 80 damage, and this is doing 65. So maybe this needs to be doing more damage, and that's all that needs to change. I don't know. Um, the first unique upgrade is it swings faster. So here we have a modified trap cooldown by one second. So it takes from three seconds to two seconds. Okay. And the other one is to um, is to deals fire damage uh, for the second upgrade, and that is primary becomes fire and primary becomes burned. Uh, so that's the status effect that it applies. And then there's an unused unique upgrade, and this one is to stun enemies hit. Now I believe one of the uh, one of the Orcs Must Die games actually had it doing stun, and I wonder if that would be. I wonder if that'd be better than one of these other ones. I don't know. I think it needs to maybe have this one second cooldown be just a default thing and maybe have burn or stun. That way you can apply whatever status effect you don't have already within your kill box. Um, or, or it needs to affect very heavy enemies maybe. I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. All right. We're going to look at a couple of different things about the swinging mace here. And yeah, let's just jump into it. All right, so <clears throat> as you can see, we have five maces. 
If you look into the ceiling, you'll notice, boom, two of them are swinging sideways. These guys, very similarly to the lasers, you can actually place them on these ceiling spots. Okay? Now, in this room, yeah, it could be used in split stairs where, where we also use it not so much. But then in cliffside, it can actually be used here quite effectively as well, I think, if you're going to use them. So what we can do is we'll go to this side over here. And you can have it stretching across, you know, like so. And maybe run enemies, you know, down the middle or whatever. Now you are going to have sappers come out of this gate if you're playing on uh, most difficulties. But, uh, you know, you could do something like that there. And then we have this space over here as well. You can do it across this area. You can also do it across the, um, if you have uh, two... Uh, outposts on war scenarios and they're and they have a bit of a space in between them in the ceiling you can string them across there like you would string them across this opening all right so this is the fire mace and the fire mace is the coolest one of the coolest looking traps ever i know i said that the snowblower with fire is really cool it is this is also really cool let's check this out let's see what it does all right wait but i thought but I thought that that was... Wait a second. Now hold your horses a second here. Now these are all medium fire fiends, right? So you're sitting, yourself, you're sitting yourself there over there thinking, I hear you, I feel it. You're over there thinking, you're like, wait a second, that doesn't make sense. The fire lord even took damage. But I thought that... I thought that the, I thought that the fire dudes are immune to fire. Well, you might be right. Because here we have, here we have the Fire Fiend. So Fire Fiend Light says, Light enemy weak against ice immune to fire. Immune to fire, really. So we go down here and we check that it has a vulnerability to ice and it has immunity to fire. Huh. Well, that's strange. Well, I wonder about the next guy. So let's look up uh, the next Fire Fiend. So here we have the Fire Fiend Medium. We just saw them being hurt by it. And this also says uh, immune to fire. And we go down to their vulnerabilities and boom. Zero damage from fire. Uh, I believe Behemoth's the one who found that. And it is very peculiar because I don't remember that being a thing before. I'm fairly certain that used to not be a thing, but now it is. So... Maybe that helps it. I don't know. You tell me. I mean, it's doing some good damage. You know, they're not burning or anything, but it is doing some good damage. Pretty peculiar indeed. Uh, definitely a bug. I wonder if they're going to fix that. I doubt it. But I don't know. I mean, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a continuity issue. So they might. Um, so if you're watching this later and it's not working for you, they must have fixed it. But. At this point, I think they're done with the game, and therefore they're probably not going to fix it. But who knows? Who knows? All right. So that's that. Um, guys, as always, let me know what you think about the swinging mace in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you use it? Do you not use it? Why? Why not? If you have any cool tips or tricks or any special ways that you like to use it, let me know in the comments. For other people to uh, read the comments as well and see what it is that you're doing with the swinging mace. With that, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow, stream, and be with you both YouTube and Twitch at the moment, and I will catch you on the flip side. All right, deuces.